If you're looking to buy a new bike right now, well, you might end up paying more or waiting longer. That's right. Bike stores are seeing a surge in sales during the pandemic. Carol 7 Morning Anchor Tracy Leong explains what is driving this demand. The demand we're seeing now in the increase in business is unlike anything we've seen in our history as a company. I mean, April and May have been busier than any month we've ever had in the you know 10 years we've been a bike shop. Seattle's Ride Bicycles bike shop has sold nearly all their entry level inventory, which typically lasts through the end of summer. The shop sales manager Bill Brown says 75% of their recent customers are first time bike owners. The ability to just go outside is the number one driver for selling a bike. You know, the ability to get outside, not interact with the large people. According to the market research company NPD, nationwide bike sales spiked 121% in March, around the time stay at home orders went into effect. Bicycles are a, a great tool for both fitness and for transportation. And Seattle has a very active and engaged cycling community. Paul Tomei, the spokesperson for Cascade Bicycle Club, says biking allows people to stay physically distant while exercising and offers an inexpensive way to travel around town instead of driving or using public transit. A lot of shops selling out of certain styles of bikes, especially children's bikes and affordable commuter and recreational bikes. The pandemic also disrupted the inventory overseas, making it a challenge to order parts. Brown doesn't expect new shipments until at least July or August. And as states start to reopen and ease restrictions, Brown hopes the biking movement will continue even after the pandemic. The air is cleared up and, you know, things are looking a little greener. And I think if people can understand it, you know, keeping the momentum rolling and, you know, staying on that sort of cycling outdoor healthy trend, that we really can make a more positive impact on, you know, our community. Seattle recently designated 20 miles of stay healthy streets, which are closed to drive through traffic, giving people a safe place to bike in addition to the nearly 200 miles of bike lanes and trails in the city. Reporting in Seattle, Tracy Leong for Cairo 7 News.